non-improvable that sucks dude like even if even if you've you know you've pretty much like got a really good deal and stuff it sucks because like you know your health is never replaceable you know what i'm saying Teleport back after this. Yes, yeah, so I'll be on for a good while, man. are full but these nuts are full that sounds kind of wrong but you guys know what i'm saying I'd, say, I'd also argue that having a kid is also a choice you do, right? I feel like if you, the, the thing is, is the thing is, is when you come out of the army, man, you can come out with like crazy PTSD. Like you don't even come out the same person that you went in. So it's, it's, I, I'd say it's way different. Like some people that are like mentally stable, everything's good. They go into the army, they come out, man, and they're just, like, not even the same person. They wish no amount of money could give them back what they lost. That's the thing. You don't agree on what? Having a kid is your own decision? Oh! Damn, this monster's hitting fucking hard, bro. It depends. Like, the stuff that they see is... Is insane. Like, some of the stuff they see, they witness... Like, imagine you witness, like, a friend that you've been in the military with for a long time literally get, like, just dismembered in front of you. Like, stuff like that. Like, that shit is not... There's no... No amount of therapy is fixing that. It, it's gonna be something that's stuck in your head forever. Like, you're just... You're fucked. And not just that, like... What about, like, accidentally, like, you know, you think you're being told to go, like, you know, strike this building, and you go strike it thinking that it's, you know, it's, like, some really big person that's, like, very dangerous, and that person is using 
children to to do like their wrongdoing so like and then you have to still live with the fact that you had to do that like it's the whole other world you know what i mean like it's just like the mentality of it is insane Hold up. That's the thing. Like, they're... They... Like, a lot of people do messed up stuff to, like... And they're... They're, like... They're, like, brainwashed to do that stuff to their kids and stuff. Like, it's insane, bro. Like, it's not... Not even a joke. Like, it's just... It's, it's crazy. Yeah, but Teresa, see, you say you say that you're away from your families, and yes, that's true. And that that's definitely rough, but you also have to think that like military people are also away from their families for months. Like not not just a week, two weeks, and then you get to like see your family again. Like it's months. Like think of all the like how many military people, like their wives, their spouses, or their husbands cheat on them because they just don't see them for so long. You know what I mean? Like, it's so, it's so common that, that it's a joke, you know? Yeah, like it's months and months at a time. Yeah, but the same thing for you, right? As like, as a flight attendant, you signed up for that as well. Like, it, it is a choice. It's a personal choice, of course. But should you be compensated for that personal choice if things go south? Yes, I, I do believe so. Should definitely be compensated. Especially if you're gonna make that big of a sacrifice. Like you don't even know if you're gonna come back or if you or if you're gonna come back with like missing a leg, two legs, like an arm, like a, a vegetable, like you know, like you, you don't know. And like it's very high. It's not like it's it's the norm that you're going to come back missing like being hurt. It's not it's not the it's not like a off chance like oh you might come back hurt. No, it's like a high probability that you will. If you if you don't come back with mental problems, you're coming back with like physical disabilities, you know what I mean? So No, but that's not the thing, Teresa. You're an anomaly like your job if you don't come back it's an anomaly. It means that it, it it can ha it's a chance but it's very low probability it's like getting striked by lightning but the same thing like for military it's not it's not a small probability it's a high probability like the risk is like 10 times higher no maybe more than 10 times higher like i'm saying like an everyday job like same thing me like working i oh oh oh, oh no i got frozen fucking stupid like, think of it this way. For me and my job, it's a high probability that I could die because I drive so much. Like, I can die on the road getting smashed by some idiot that's on their cell phone. You know what I mean? Like, or I can get hit by a semi, a semi or something. Like, some, like, I can get hit by stuff like that. Like, I can lose my life to that. And that's risk. It depends, Teresa. I agree to disagree. I'm not saying I'm not saying you have to praise them. I'm saying I'm saying they deserve they deserve compensation for what they do. Like it's just like someone that's a pilot, well, they deserve compensation in their way. Same thing as like someone that's a firefighter, they deserve compensation. A police officer deserves compensation for what they do, right? Like if they get shot on the job, like they their life shouldn't just end there. Like they shouldn't just be like, "Oh, I'm I'm financially like crippled now." Yo, what up, Brittany? What do you mean your your name is glitched? That's what I'm saying. You should be compensated accordingly to what you're doing. That's that's exactly what we're talking about. You know what I mean? Like exactly. That, that that's my point. Holy crap, this guy fucking hits hard, bro. That's what I mean. Like everybody.